everybody. We're ready to kick off a season. Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crunk, we look forward to a fantastic year. Brian McCann, a powerhouse for this ball club. We'll see how that bat's working today. We are at the home of the Rangers here in Texas to take a look at their ball club today. We've got Justin Verlander, the starter. And Steve, as he faces these lineup time, Terry Francona's offense will look like this. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, one of the great clutch hitters in the game, Hideki Matsui, guy that's driven in many, many a big run for his teams. Look for him today to try to get some guys on base in front of him. Leadoff hitter, Carl Crawford. And this is hit in the air, foul down the left field line. And Hanahan pulls it in. One away. Now we'll take a quick look at the Rangers, see where they are positionally. Particular standouts here, John? Well, Jay Bruce had a learning process in the outfield at the major league level, but he has really adjusted well to it. And you're talking about a guy with one of the strongest, most accurate throwing arms. Jay Bruce today, if he's challenged, is going to throw someone out. He makes contact, line drive. And that one's going to drop in. That's their first hit. Our State Farm leaderboard recapping the teams that led the way in extra base hits last year. Blue Jays number one, the Red Sox in second, in third, the Yankees, the Twins fourth, and at number five on the list, the Rays. Well, anytime you have a whole team of guys who can hit for extra bases, it makes the defense spread out so much, and it gives you room to do other things. This team is great at it, one of the best in the league last year, just hitting the balls in gaps, hitting the ball over the wall, and that's why they score so many runs, because they're always in scoring position. Had a look at that one, but can't come up with it. It goes foul. Here's the pitch. Swings and misses at the curve already 0 and 2. Swing and a high drive. This one crunched way back there. Goodbye, a two run homer. And so they jump out to the 2 0 lead. Wow, what a great time for a two run shot like that. Gary Boston taking charge here, taking the lead. Nobody on base, one away. Swing and a ball hit well down the right field line, into the corner, out of here, goodbye home run. Putting a little padding on the lead, solo shot up by three. Well, this Boston lineup so deep, so powerful, and I'll tell you what, they can make the plays on both sides of the ball. Here it comes. Matsui, good contact. And Maben. As he moves over and hauls it in. The season's still fresh. Here's the Rangers, what they have coming up. Sunday, they wrap up the Boston series. They'll face the division rival Seattle Mariners. That'll be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then they'll go against the Baltimore Orioles in Baltimore. Wins will not come easy over the next stretch of games. They got a nice head start right there. The offense early. The Red Sox are on top, three to nothing. Let's take a look at Boston's starter. So, Steve, how's he going to handle these big Texas bats? What I like about Derek Lowe is he's reinvented himself as he's gone along. He's always been that sinker ball pitcher. Realizing, though, that he's got a pretty good slider and started to use that a little bit more in 2010 and made him that much more effective. Called strike on the outside corner at 21. Pitching coaches love it when you can throw it down and away consistently. He got it done right there. He watches the 1-1 pitch, takes a fastball, strike two. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. Low winds up for the one two. You're out. He catches that strike zone and he also catches on Hill Pagan watching. He's out of there. Well, this slider's up and away, but with two strikes, you have to swing and try to make contact there. Get a chance to see that lineup. Let's take a look for the Rangers. 
So who are you looking at, John? Well, all you want is a chance to play every day, and Angel Pagan never got that chance early in his career, but now you're starting to see... Big swing, straightaway center. Warning track, wall looking up, right off the wall. And he's in at second with a double, 1-0. Well, he finds a pitch he can drive, and his hands just fly through the strike zone. Perfect execution at the plate. He's in scoring position with just one out. And it's Jay Bruce in the box now. Well, consistency is what Derek Lowe's all about. He's done it all, though, in the postseason as far as starting, relieving, closing games. But as a starter in Atlanta 2010, he was a guy that helped them get into the postseason with 16 wins and an ERA of four. On the way, Bruce, ground ball. And Teixeira picks it up. And he steps on first. That's the second out. As John said, Lowe, is a, he's a big game pitcher, and that was evidenced by the fact in September his ERA was 1.17 speed. But what he did in September is he made a major adjustment to the way he pitched. He was always a sinker ball, fastball pitcher who threw the slider off of that. He started going to slider first and using the sinker ball off the slider, and it proved very effective. Now it's popped up behind home plate. Tried to track that one down, but comes up empty. McCann battling in another foul ball. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0-2 count. He wanted him to swing the bat, and he did, but he just fouled it off. Great piece of hitting. Throws on to first, side is retired. They get a man to third. And it can be tough. Sometimes you get that odd shadowing. It makes it hard to see the ball when you're at the plate with those clouds moving around. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. Bruce will field. Rome's over, puts it away. Now our State Farm leaderboard looking at the teams leading the league in slugging percentage from last year. Number one, the Blue Jays. The Red Sox second. In third, the Yankees. Fourth, the Twins. And at number five on the list, the White Sox. Well, anybody can be pitched to. The, the problem is with this team, one of the top slugging percentage teams in the league last year is when you make a mistake, they seem to end up for extra bases with this club. Everyone in this lineup has some sort of power. Even if it's not home run power, they have gap power. And that's a vital part of any team's offense. And it's taken outside by Martin for a ball. We started the curveball away, and it broke further away just off the plate. And Russell Martin goes down swinging. He's out of there. Let's see the K-cam on this 12-6 curveball. That was not a good-looking swing on that pitch. Well, good at bats starts with good swings, and bad at bats end with bad swings. I think he'd want that last swing back if he had the choice. And it's Derek Jeter in the box now. Batting 368 career against oh. Justin Verlander. Verlander with a delivery. Oh. Jeter fouls off another one. And he fouls another one off. Oh. And this is inside. That got him pretty good. Is it intentional? Is it not intentional? We'll never really know because nobody will admit it. The one thing we do know, the fastball can hurt. So Kyle Crawford will come up next. Popped out. Foul ground last time around. You've got to keep the opponent close when you're behind. You've got speed on first base. They better keep him close because if he gets in scoring position, it may just add on to... There he goes for second. Great one! And he is out trying to take second. And they go quietly offensively. And in the batter's box, here's Moreland. He's one factor in Ron Washington's offensive set. Look out, and that ran in and got him. Well, sometimes the fastball just gets on you and you can't get out of the way. No matter how ready you are for the pitch, he couldn't get out of the way there. So Cameron Mayburn will come up. There'll be more coming your way next Wednesday. It'll be Josh Johnson 
and the San Francisco Giants. They take their game to San Diego to challenge the Padres at Petco Park. Things getting underway at 6.30 Eastern. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. One down. And that will hold him at first. So with one away, it'll be Eric Ibar. A Red Sox much improved on the road from the season before, finishing above 500 away from Fenway Park. A big part of that due to their consistent offense. A moment here for Texas. Can they get it done? And part of that offense, Steve, on the road for Boston, second best road offense in Major League Baseball and number one in road home runs. And what's even more amazing about that is all of the injuries they had, they were able to maintain some level of consistency swinging the bat. At the belt, low kicks and throws. Phillips for one. Over to first, he is safe. Almost a double play, not quite enough time. Oh, he has thrown it away, safe all around. And he throws it away. Well, two outs now, those runners are still standing on base. Let's see if he can find his way out of this with the lead intact. And it's Ryan Terrio in the box now. He has, uh, he's not hit well in this particular matchup. Just uh, 167 off Derek Lope. And Terrio watches it low for a ball. Outside for a ball, and it's two and one. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. A swing and a foul off to the right side. Brings that curveball just about at him, but it's full. That's a good spot to miss with that thing just off the corner. Full count pitch from low. That misses ball four. The potential tying run on base. Well, that's what you want to do. You want to have quality at bats, get that pitch count up. And I tell you what, he worked this pitcher. It's, it's going to be tough for him to get this next hitter out after working that walk on so many pitches. So we're going to see on Hill Pagan next. Steve, you've got to like the odds right here. You get that base hit, and all of a sudden, this game changes. Now, if he hits one over the ball, too, it completely changes the complexion of this game. They've had to battle back. Here's a chance to get the lead. And he looks at the slider in there, and it's one and two now. And that one gets popped way up behind the plate. And Martin puts that away to retire the side. Oh, Derek Lowe. Leadoff hitter Carl Crawford. Here's Crawford's first look. There's a swing and a ball hit well. Deep straightaway center field. Back. He heads all the way back to the warning track and gets the up. A chance here to check out the Boston Red Sox and how they ranked in the American League last year. First in doubles, second in home runs, and a very productive offense as well. Second in the league in runs scored. That's an offense that scores in a lot of different ways. Not just with power, not just with speed, but that ability to match. Now a swing. That one is driven deep. Right center field. There's a chance. And he drops back to the warning track to pull it in. Jose Bautista, he's at the plate with two down. Homered back in the first inning. Verlander with a delivery. Oh. First pitch fastball misses badly that time, 1-0. Here's the 1-0, and he gets under that one. Good effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. Swing and a miss on that fastball, and it's one and two. Well, climbing the ladder on him right there, he just throws that fastball right by him up in the zone. Change up, swung on and missed. That will retire the side. And a quick inning for Justin Verlander. And a good start intact. Three runs over three works so far. And Alfonso Soriano up. Here's the pitch to Soriano. He takes that one, and Lowe has him on one. 
Here's the pitch. A line drive towards the hole. And Bautista with the catch. Chance now to check out the schedule for Boston. Wrapping up on Sunday, the series with Texas. They head to yet another venue, the Indians at Progressive Field. That'll kick off Tuesday evening. And then the Yankees come into town, kicking off their homestand. Great series there. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. And he throws it away, and everybody's safe. Oh, and a wild throw. Grounded out last time. One out, man on first. And it goes foul. Here's the 0 1 from low. And with two strikes on him now, Brian McCann will protect that zone. You throw the sinker ball to get the ground ball out. He got the called strike right there. If they swing, he's going to get a share of ground balls. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a K. A oh, pretty healthy break. 88 mile per hour breaking ball. Let's take a look where the Texas Rangers ended up rank wise last year in the American League. First in batting average, first in hits. And as you can see, they also hit with runners in scoring position in clutch situations. Third best team batting average in that situation, really pointing to the fact they have the right mental approach. Credit the hitting coach. At the belt, low kicks and throws. Cut fastball, swung on and missed. Side retired. That's another solid inning for Derek Lowe. Nothing doing through three innings. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball, I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crump. There's a swing and a ball hit well. Straight away, center field. He heads all the way back to the warning track and gets the out. And it's Hideki Matsui in the box now. When a lot of guys leave the New York Yankees and them pinstripes and that comfortable surroundings in, in Yankee Stadium, and they struggle, but not Hideki Matsui. Great season for the Angels in 2010. Ball one uh, to begin this at bat, 1-0. Oh. Boy, Matsui, guys, what a boost he was for the Angels. 21 home. A swing line to left center. That's going to be a base hit for Matsui. He's going to try and test him here. So Brandon Phillips comes up. Here's a look at the teams who got it done last year at the plate, brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the Rangers, the Royals second, the Twins third, Tigers fourth, and it's the Red Sox number five. Well, I wouldn't want to be a pitcher in this game, Gary. I mean, if you're looking to get through a bunch of quick innings, it might not happen in this one. Two of the better teams last season in the league in batting average. These guys have the ability to put the ball in play, and when they do, they usually get hits doing it. This is going to be a tough battle for these pitchers here today. And the uh, first pitch was a strike. Got about 0-1 right now. Lifetime average, 346 hitter against the Rangers. It's hit foul by Phillips. Foul! And McCann calls for the pitch. You're out. Couldn't connect on that one. Brandon Phillips, and he's gone. I just don't think you can make it any easier than that. Three pitches, up, down, see you later. He's already back at the bench. And one on, and here's Maglio Ordonia. Last time up, flew up. And Ordonia settles in. Swings, and there's a drive. Very deep, high, right center field. It's off the wall on a hop. Here comes Matsui for the plate and the throw. And he scores from first. Opposite field hitting. It is a classic piece of baseball. Especially on that inside pitch. It keeps the defense off guard when you can muscle the inside pitch to right field. Two outs, a runner 90 feet from scoring at third. Here's Martin's first look. And that swung on and hit. Bruce is going to play it. And in there, Boston for a run. Oh, this is great patience at the plate. He let the ball get deep in on the plate, comes in toward his hands, keeps his hands inside the ball, and drives it the other way. You make yourself a whole different ball player if you can take the ball the other way, as he just did. Derek Jeter's at the plate with two down. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped. The runs just keep on coming right now. Quality at bat after quality at bat. A lot of outs left, but you know what? It looks to me like they're getting ready to put this one away early. Strike. 
Justin Verlander gets the head on the count. Tough to hit against him now. 0-2. Well, as the old redhead used to say, you get him in the catbird seat and you're on top, and that's where they are right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, which redhead was that? That was Mr. Barber. Ah, okay. I thought there was some other story we were talking about right there. Well, either way, it's nice to put it out of reach early. No question about it. And they're coming off the mound. He's pitching well. Just two runs allowed over four. He just needs some run support right now. The Red Sox lead five to nothing. Back behind second. And the play made by Phillips. Well, Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he's set down. So with one away, it'll be Eric Ibar. Now Ibar gets set. And low misses outside, taken for a ball. Well, they've got a couple hits here, and we're into the fourth inning, so they maybe they're starting to get something going in the second time through the lineup. Maybe they'll try to figure something out here. High bar, ground ball. Oh, two away. And we're going to see Hanahan here. He flew out his last time up. Two outs and nobody on. And the first pitch. Swing and a drive. Very high. In the air. Deep left center field. That's going to one hop off the wall. Hanahan's headed for third. There's the throw. Throw low in the dirt. He is in at third. And he scores. Whoa, what a move made right there, Steve. He didn't even think about stopping at third. And inside the park home run. I think it's going to be tough for the Rangers to make up this entire deficit. But they have to get some confidence from at least getting some production. And that's a base hit. Terrio on board. And that's going to bring on Hel Pagano. Well, he swung the bat well in the last game, getting two hits, and he seems to be continuing it in this one. Popped out of foul territory last time. Terrio's your runner at first base. Foul! It's hit foul by Pagan. Here's the 0-1 from low. Swing and a line drive. And there's Phillips for the third out. Well, they chip away, grabbing an important run with that solo big fly. Texas trying to... Leadoff hitter Carl Crawford. Verlander with a delivery. It's 0 and 1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Well, great movement on that two seamer right there. Had him way out on his front foot. That's a strike and it's 0 and 2. Contact time for Carl Crawford. Popped him up. That retires Crawford. One away. State Farm leaderboard. Uh, look at the teams with the most runs produced from last year's season. The Yankees, number one. The Red Sox, second. Third, the Rays. Fourth spot, Rangers. And we've got the Twins, who are number five. Well, they might have to... This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And Pagan's there. As he gets to it for the up. And it's Jose Bautista in the box now. Two outs, space is empty. Fresh count of Bautista. Here it comes. Strike one. Strike one. Verlander gets the strike with a swing. That's just a great pitch right there. I mean, that's the hardest pitch for a hitter to try to stay back on. That's why he was out in front of that one. And Pagan's there. And that's going to do it in this half inning. Three up, three down this half.